idea, uh, speaking of animals, that there were so many cool animals in Irving. And Monday, they were out doing the most because Irving police thought they had been pranked on April Fool's Day when they got a call to handle a situation with a goat who got loose. It was running around along 183, going through a shopping center. They also got another call for help uh, with a loose peacock in a neighborhood. Oh, yeah. So I guess the goat fell off a trailer and ended up on the highway. He was seen in the shopping center as well. And eventually they had to shut down the freeway and lure him in with french fries. Yeah! <laughs> so my kind of goat. I think he's on his way to Irving Mall. <laughs> yeah. This officer has, like, the, the camera on him, the body yeah. cam, and you see him walking along the highway. The cars aren't moving, and someone, like, out out the driver window hands him a thing of fries, and he starts just, like, throwing them around. <laughs> what is this, fossil rim? I know. I know. It's so cute. But they uh, they finally tackled him and got a hold of him, and Aww. he was okay. The peacock, they got him, too. He had a Shout broken leg. Shout out to leg, the Irving so, police. Thank yeah. you. Oh, the peacock had a broken leg? Yeah, but they, they got him help as well. But what a Monday. And shocker, that's the most normal thing you've seen in that area <laughs> in Irving ever. Right? That's like, my, I don't even surprise that's me. That's the news I want to hear coming that's, out of Irving, listen, to be honest. Speaking of loose and crazy animals, did you yeah. hear about this raccoon in Pennsylvania that got <laughs> into a theme park? It got loose into a theme park, went into one of the lines where a bunch of people were waiting, <gasps> and just started attacking people. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Can you imagine you waited in line two hours <laughs> to ride this thing, and now you're running from it because of a raccoon? <laughs> a raccoon? scare me because I think they have thumbs. Do they? Yeah. Do they? Don't they have thumbs? I'm not sure. I'm I don't trust anything with thumbs. <laughs> you know, animals with thumbs scare me because they can do stuff. Right. They can yeah. hold a gun. Oh, oh God. <laughs> well, I'm oh, just saying. Geez. I'm throwing it out there. It's just a little bit nerve-wracking for me. <laughs> Who's got thumbs? I don't trust him. Uh, well, All right. this list came out about weird celebrity connections, so I learned some stuff about some of my faves. I was just mentioning Ed Sheeran, who apparently slept on Jamie Foxx's couch for six weeks when he first moved yep. to L.A. Mm -hmm. Scarlett Johansson and Jack Antonoff dated in high school. Wait. Cameron Diaz went to high school with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson. I knew that. that. I knew Cameron and Snoop went to high school together, but I didn't know that Scarlett Johansson dated Jack Antonoff, the yeah. guy that writes for Taylor Swift. Right, from wow. Bleachers. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's kind of yeah. cool. Meghan Markle, she did the invitations for Robin Thicke's wedding back in 2005. She was working as a calligrapher Shut up. before she became an actress. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't Calligraphy? that weird? That's crazy. Yeah. I, I never pictured her doing that. I, I know. That. Uh, then Keanu Reeves met Dolly Parton when he was a kid because his mom used to make costumes for her back in the day. Uh, okay. Yeah, random. And then one more, Elton John is apparently Eminem's AA sponsor. Did Wait you know a that? minute. This was serious? in Elton's memoir. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, I wow. had to fact check that because I was like, that's kind of weird. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, but now, it's I actually knew, in his memoir. I, I knew Ed Sheeran um, was sleeping on Jamie Foxx's couch for a while. Mm -hmm. I guess he went to randomly went to a house party that Jamie Foxx was throwing when he was trying to, you know, come up and make it. Right. Mm -hmm. And Jamie heard him sing and was like, oh, you got a place to stay, like hang out, whatever you need, because he was broke. That's awesome. And then, of course, he blows up. And now every chance Jamie Foxx gets to talk about how... He basically <laughs> discovered it. Yeah, exactly. he does. Yeah, I mean, I would does. too. Go for it. I'm Good Candace man. Lopez. Those are your Texas top stories on the new Mix 102.9. Thank you, Candace. From the Mullen and Mullen Injury Law Firm Traffic Center. The new Mix 102.9 Traffic. Good morning. Still seeing issues right now. Northbound 75. We have a stalled vehicle blocked in the left lane right at the high five. About 10 to 12 minutes worth of slowdowns back from Churchill Way. Similar slowdowns in Dallas. Northbound 45. We still have an accident blocking two left for lanes right at Lamar. That's going to stack up back past Overton. I'm Ryan Silva. That's a check around your DFW traffic.